Hello? Hello, Nanny. Well, hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, and how's Taylor? Oh, I'm just living the dream. The reason for me calling uh -huh. is how do I make a banana cream pie? and welcome to this new series that I'm starting. It is going to be called the RV Cooking Show. Now, the reason I'm starting this show is because I do not know how to cook very well and I most certainly do not know how to bake. And I thought, what better way to learn than to actually get out and do it. I'm going to create one to two episodes per week and what I would love for you guys to do is comment in the section below of what you think would be fun for me to cook or what you think would be fun for me to bake. And I will try it out. Well, the first thing that I'm gonna make on this show is a banana cream pie. As you can see, I have all the ingredients here. The reason that I'm starting with a banana cream pie is when I was growing up, my grandma made and still makes the greatest banana cream pie ever. It's my favorite pie in the whole entire world. And so I called her up this morning and I said, Nanny, how do you make it? What ingredients do I need? I am going to make it completely from scratch. So she told me some uh, some to-dos and some not to-dos, and I am going to try my very best to create the banana cream pie that I love so much growing up. Okay, so first things first, we are going to make the pie crust, and I am just going to follow the ingredients on the back of this tender flake pure lard. <laughs> I don't even know, what is, what is lard? So we're gonna start off by putting one cup of flour in here. So we're making the crust first. One cup of flour. A Little bit of salt. So we've got the flour, we have the salt, and now I am going to put some of this lard, this tender flake lard into this and mix it up so it resembles coarse oatmeal. Okay, yum. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. I think that that is coarse like oatmeal right there. Now it says add vinegar, egg, and lightly, lightly beaten egg in cold water. So let's add a little bit of vinegar. to one cup. So we're gonna pour this in until it just is sticky enough to make a little ball out of. Look at this. That is what I think is perfect because I can throw a little flour on it and then make it into a pie crust. I'm gonna preheat my oven here. And. Here we go. Put some flour on my table, which I've always wanted to do. I'm gonna use my Pam as my roller. And we're gonna try to to make it as round as I possibly can. How's that? That looks good, right? Okay, let's get uh, my pie, my pie pan here. <laughs> you have no idea how proud of myself I am right now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so proud of myself. <laughs> Would you look at that? Okay, do I have to get it way up over the over the rim here? Every time. You should see the camera right now. There's so much flour on it. My hands are all floury. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven uh, for about 10, 15 minutes until it's a golden brown. Top, top shelf, not gonna burn it. And I'm gonna check on it 
periodically because I'm scared I'm gonna burn it. So the next step is one third cup of flour, two third cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two cups of milk, three egg yolks, two tablespoons of butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Let's do it. One third of flour. Two. Two cups of milk. And I'm gonna heat this milk up just before it starts boiling. Which means I have to start my generator. Okay, so I have my milk there right before a boil. I've got my flour, my sugar, my salt. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to pour this in here and then slowly add my milk while stirring. And I'm gonna continue stirring until this starts to uh, to harden up a little bit. And we're gonna cook this for a couple minutes and then we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna get three egg yolks and we're gonna put the, uh, we're gonna beat the egg yolks and then we're gonna slowly introduce the egg yolks into this mixture here. So now my grandma told me to introduce this stuff to the egg yolk, just to warm the egg yolk up so it doesn't cur curdle, is that the word? <laughs> so we're just warming that up and then I'm gonna dump that egg yolk in here. Look at this, this is looking fantastic, guys. I think we're good, I think we're good. I'm gonna cook this for about another minute and then I'm gonna let it sit for two minutes. And then it should be ready to get dumped in to the pie crust, which is right here. Dun, 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 dun. We're almost done. I am so impressed with how it's turned out so far. I am going to whip some cream, whipped cream. And I've got some, let's get on the uh, non-French version, whipped cream. Finally have Whipped cream. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. I remember my grandma, every time she would let me uh, eat whatever was left over in the bowl. And my favorite was the whipped cream. Right here, guys. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The dough, or the crust, could have stayed in the uh, oven a little bit longer. It's a little bit soft. Mm. That is really really delicious. I might have to have one more one more slice. So my final thoughts on this is that I am just so proud of myself that I finally baked something on my own. First thing that I've actually baked 
that's somewhat difficult from complete scratch. Like I've baked cookies before and I've baked things with my grandma and my grandmas and, and, and whatnot, but they just walk me through the whole thing. They walk me through the whole thing. So it's not like I have to actually do it on my own. So this was such, such, such a fun experience. In the comment section below, um, let me know what you think I should cook or bake next. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your thoughts on how you think I did. I wish that I could send you guys all a piece of uh, piece of banana cream pie, um, but that really that really wouldn't work. So I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. If you feel like subscribing, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, keep living that dream. Be true to who you are. And until next time, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful night, and bye-bye.